Good day everyone, I'm Fyodor Dujan and I'm going to be your main course instructor in Ordinary Differential Equations. So note that um, our course is flipped classroom, which means all our lectures are going to be online. Well, uh, I hope you're going to enjoy the, these lectures because, well, although everything is online, still I can write equations here. So whenever um, I need to teach a worked example, I, I'm, I'm going to be able to do it. Then um, if you have questions, if you don't understand anything in the course material, please uh, post your questions on our online forum. Well, and finally, to um, give you a little bit of interactivity, you know, in class, sometimes you have the, these clickers or or little uh, building quizzes. So now we are going to, to do it too, but only online. So in the, this lecture is supplemented uh, with a series of mini quizzes for, for you to understand the material better. Well, so here is the plan um, for today's lecture. So please note that um, this is going to be part one. This is going to be part two. Um, this is going to be part three. This is going to be part four. This is going to be part five. Part six. Part seven. Part eight. Part nine. And then note that there's going to be some little quizzes. There's going to be um, a little quiz here, a little quiz here, a little quiz here, and a little quiz here for you to understand the material better. Well, um, here is our textbook. It is on the um, course page, so you can just download it for free. Um, well, then before each lecture, I'm going to tell you uh, what kind of material you need to review in order to understand the lecture. So now we have our first lecture. So, and in order to understand it, you need to review a few concepts from previous courses. And I'm serious about it. So if you have forgotten what a vector field is, then stop the lecture and, and review this material, please. All right, so I hope this is clear. So now I'm going to continue with a few warnings about um, the theory of differential equations. Um, well, here is a sort of a motivating example. So it is, this example is not related to the theory of differential equations, but it is a good analogy. Well, I hope it is something familiar to you. All right, so this is the, um, a very, very important function in mathematics, and um, I attached the, the graph of the dysfunction. What is important about it is that it is impossible to express um, this function as a single equation involving, well, nothing else but familiar functions like logarithm, exponential, and trigonometric functions, powers, I don't know, and arithmetic operations. And so, in order to express the, this function, one essentially has to use an integral, and there is no other way. But even though it is impossible to express it as a simple formula, um, it is still possible to work with it. Um, this is probably the most important function in probability and statistics, very widely used in um, applications of mathematics, and this, this fact does not prevent us from well, say, graphing it, studying its properties, computing it with any required precision, and so on and so forth. Well, um, and there are glimpses to the properties of the cumulative distribution function of the standard normal distribution, well, um, can be done by well, simply differentiating it. 
right? So since our function is expressed as the integral, we can apply the fundamental theorem of calculus to differentiate it, right? So you hope you still remember that if you have an integral from a to f of some function, say f of t dt, and then if you differentiate this with, with respect to x, so with respect to the upper limit of integration, then you just get the integrand, but only at x instead of t. Right, so applying this, we can find the first derivative of phi and the second derivative of phi, and then we can derive some of its properties. So here is an analogy. Right? So if, if you know that a certain function satisfies the, the, these differential equations, well, we don't know what it is, what the differential equation is, but suppose that I, I'm just telling you that, okay, so let y be such that y prime equals y square plus cosine square um, x plus plus 1, right? So here, y is a function of x. Well, then know that the right-hand side here, y square is non-negative, right? Because it is the square. Cosine square is, again, it's the square is non-negative. And one is strictly positive, so the right-hand side is strictly positive, so the derivative is strictly positive, and hence the, this function y is strictly increasing. Right? This derivative is not only positive, but it is bigger than or equal to zero. So although we can't really um, find the function y, but what we do know is that it has to be increasing. Right, so the theory of differential equation is, is sort of um, is a, is built on observations like this. Right, so and it is important to know that um, if I just give you some differential equation, like if I just ask you to write that y prime equals you know y square minus x square plus one over y plus x plus logarithm x plus 1. Well, any, well, any just well expression that uh, relates the unknown function and its derivative, then chances are that it is impossible to solve it explicitly. And the theory of differential equations, of differential equations is mostly about uh, being able to derive properties of solutions without um, solving the differential equation explicitly. Well, but it hasn't been uh, like this forever, right? So um, previously mathematicians invented a lot of specific ways to solve very small classes of differential equations. But of course, uh, no matter how long you try to study these specific uh, ways of solving some classes, particular classes of differential equations, you are not going to be uh, you're, you're not going to best the computer in it. So it, it doesn't really make sense to um, to try to uh, learn all of these ways to solve particular differential equations. Well, uh, unless, of course, you, you you just like it, unless you, you're a big class. So um, so in, in, in our class, we are going to only um, solve a few. So we are going to see a few uh, most important methods to solve some particular differential equations. So, and I, on purpose, I did not include some um, methods that are usually inc included into a class in ordinary differential equations because I um, don't want you to, well, um, get bored with, you know, um, just a lot of the, the, the specific methods, and I, I kind of killed it in favor of um, uh, general theory of differential equations. Right? So um, in, in, in our course, we are going to concentrate on um, sort of um, ways to derive properties of differential equations or to model uh, real application, real life problems with differential equations without